Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to derp around with a T49. Sometimes I have a need to go with a derp guns and to have some fun. And today is a T49 turn. Listen, uh, where the T49 goes, I do not really think this is the competitive decision to go with this gun for a ride. I think this is purely for a memeing purposes and this is purely to um, penetrate someone for 910 alpha damage while having a great time. That's about it. I do not really think this is a competitive build. I do not really think this is uh, this is the right way to play with this tank. I just do not believe in that, fellas. I think this is purely whenever you are having the Friday night with the boys or you are feeling naughty yourself, you are just going for a ride in this way and you are trying to punish uh, enemies with a big smile on your face, right? I think this is, this is what this build is all about um, and this is um, what you are aiming to do. Aka, you are not as competitive as other light tanks unless all stars are being aligned and unless you are hitting every and each of your shot. Uh, that being said, you are being very, very lucky where the RNG goes, right? Uh, let's get real. In World of Tanks, it doesn't work like this uh, um, often, okay? Let's say like that. Let's go for a blind shot just like so. Maybe we hit someone, who knows? And in the same time, I am a bit paranoid by the, by the enemy Char Mile. I'm not paranoid that he will clip me. I am paranoid that he will spot me. And if he will, I might have a quite a bad time. Considering how many sniper schnitzels are sitting in this area. who fellas. We are not sitting that well as I would love to say we are. Okay, Char Futur is making a bit of pressure like so. Good. I have an idea. Hear me out. I have an idea and I think this is going to be a good one. Let's go for it. This is exactly what we want to see with a T-49 derp gun. We found the tank without armor. We said hello there, and that tank is having a very, 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 very bad time. Okay, hi there. Should we survive this? Yep, we survived this. Okay, excellent. Now, what what is my mission? I want to block him so he is not going to escape, right? Excellent. Very, very nice. No, 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 no. Where you think you are going? Okay, very good. Listen, our goal was straightforward to block this gentleman so he is not going to uh, run for his life, right? And we are feeling uh, somehow okay-ish in this situation. I would love to peek here, but in the same time, I'm a bit paranoid because I'm down to fartable and I'm down to one shotable. So this could be... Uh, this could have a very, very bad ending in a way. Our cover 5 is making pressure like so. Good. Very, very good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You see, this is... This is the whole plan how to deal with this tank and how to punish enemies. You are looking for a paper vehicles and you are simply dreaming about penetrations. That's all you are doing over there. Uh, they should have Su-130 PM around this area as well, so we are just waiting for it. The worst part of all of this, I am definitely down to fartable for literally everyone, right? And I would love to see enemy Su-130 PM. I am dreaming about this guy. I am dreaming about him. Oh, hi. That is the best thing with this tank. You see, it has a bit of the beauty and it has quite a bit of the... Um, potential where the memeing goes around, right? 
Uh, for this game, I mean, <clears throat> considering the fact that we lost all our hit points for the uh, for the auto loader light tank who decided to go full. Changed one is better than zero. Listen, considering we lost all of our hit points for the auto loader light tank, I think this is a great success and this is quite a lot of memeing and this is quite a lot of fun. You cannot expect this to be competitive, right? It is just not competitive, but it is hell of a fun. Especially whenever you have a chance to uh, flank some grillers, scorpions and whatnot to send this humongous 900 damage shell up there. Um, but you know, this is what overall you are looking for. For a very first game, we are fine. 2.6 thousand damage, 200 assisting damage. Like I said, not ideal, but quite a bit of fun. Uh, we made 70,000 credits, although most of the credits are coming from the mission. And in fact, if we would not complete the mission, we would lose credits. But that is okay, considering that uh, this ammunition costs um, eh, 5.2 thousand. Nothing unusual, right? Let's go for seconds. Okay, for uh, round number two, we have Erlenberg. Assault game. Let's see what we can do. By the way. I'm not going to pretend, fellas, I am. I played many games with a T-49 and I am shocked how uncompetitive this tank is with this setup. I mean, I said that in the very first game, right? Uh, but I am like 10 games deep in and the risks which you need to take with this tank in order to be successful is nuts. Plus, on top of that, you need to be lucky as well, because for a third game, you will see how uh, how usually the things are working with a T-49, or maybe I'm supposed to say how the things doesn't work. Um, so, yeah, I pretty much cherry-pick the games and do not expect the best performance ever. I am just saying that straight in the face, right? Uh, and... Um, and for a T-49 with a derb gun, uh, I mean, this is this is no bueno as a setup. I get the point, uh, trolling factor is there, I understand this, right? Everything is fine, but uh, to be completely honest with you, uh, I do not really think this is the correct way to play with this vehicle, if you know what I mean. It's just, it's just not that good. Not that good, that sounds like a somehow decent setup. It's it's bad, okay? It is proper bad. I, I am a sucker for a light tanks. I love light tanks with all my heart. Light tanks for me is like a, um, is like a bread and butter, you know? I, I, I love them. But with a T-49, this is a pure struggle for me, fellas. This is a pure struggle for me. Okay. Let's see what we can do. My goal is to get here and to spot the enemies plus on top of that to shoot the enemies, right? It's hard. It is proper hard because the risk which I am taking here is a humongous. What do I mean by saying this? You see this Fava? I mean there is a chance Fava will miss his shot and everything, but uh, if he will hit it, it's not going to be fun. Listen, this is what I want to do at this point. This is how you play with a T-49. You are committing. You are... Using auto aim whenever your gun is in the enemy, um, but if I can say so, and then you are shooting him. This is literally only one way to play with this tank. It was madness for me, fellas. So yeah, as you can see, we went in, we said, brr. Uh, obviously, we spotted like four sniper schnitzels here in the back, but what's from that? If we, um, if in this situation, no one can shoot them, right? It's not that great, is it? But it's okay. We got this. All we need to do, we need to be very, very patient, fellas, in this situation, right? That's what we need to do. 400 damage, that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage for a heavy tank. Also, I noticed, um, I noticed one thing. Most of the time you are doing 100 damage whenever you are not penetrating anyone with a T-49. And um, at least this is what I noticed. Doesn't matter. Heavy tank, medium tank, most of the time I felt like I'm doing 100 damage. Um, 
maybe I was unlucky also could be possibility or maybe it's just not my day with this tank. But I am committed to make this tank work and I want to show you at least 4000 raw damage game uh, if it is possible, right? That would be very much appreciated. And I know it, there is a possibility to make this tank work. Every single tank can work. Okay. Yeah, that's more like it. Yep, 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 yep. I was expecting this one. You know, I do not expect to hit every single shot, especially you will see that on the third game and you will feel exactly how I feel where this session goes. Madness. No. Can it be sent him to the garage? Fully aiming. Taking three days to aim and now shooting. Okay. Well, unfortunate. Unfortunate fellas. Okay, but let's keep it up. We need to eliminate this guy from the game. That's what we need to do. Oh, Kranwagen side, please stop. In five seconds. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. 2.4 thousand damage, hip hip hooray, that sounds pretty good and that looks promising where this game can go. I am speaking about the potential of this battle. And you know what? There is an angle here. If we are going to be lucky, he will go to the garage. Am I lucky? I do not know, but soon we will figure this out. <coughs> soon we will figure this out, fellas. Four and a half minutes left of this game. I am really paranoid to make um, pressure for the enemies. I am very, very, very paranoid. Now, nah, unfortunately, we are not very lucky, but that is okay. No, RNG, please bless my shot and let me send him to the garage. Thank you. Maybe this is what I needed to do be before every single shot, fellas. Skill this tank is so good, I see. I see skill how good this tank is. Fellas, wait until the mm, third game, okay? Mm, that one is a special one. Uh, you will see everything what I am talking about. And uh, oh boy, so oh boys, that is that is a quality game, okay? But not from the side that, um, uh-oh. Not from the side that it will make you wow, but from the side that uh, um, it will leave you more question marks, I believe. Okay, 3090 is sitting over there. Actually, 13105 is sitting here. Not a big deal, I would say. You know what I would love to see? I would love to see uh, some sniper schnitzels getting spotted here. You know, this is what I am looking for and that's what I want to see. But it's not so simple, unfortunately. Maybe this Fosh will go back. There is a big chance he will go back, don't you think so? Eh, the angle is too complicated, I guess. Bad angle. No? Come on. One good penetration for me. Give me one good penetration. That's all I am dreaming about. Come on. Okay, Leopata. Unfortunately, I do not really have the gun uh, depression through the back, if you know what I mean. That is not good. Do we have a decent enough angle to penetrate Fava? I do not really think so. I think it is way, 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 way too risky. How about this Fosh? Unfortunately, we cannot do anything for him. Oh, Udes. Uh, let's go for it, please, RNG. Actually, no. We are okay. Round number two. Nothing unusual. Just going in like crazy mother trucker. This is how you are playing with a T-49. What do you want? What do you want from me? This is how you are playing with a T-49. And uh, we'll see how the things will go, you know? This is how you are doing the things with this tank. Nuts, but this is this is what I figured out is the way, the right way to play with this tank. And now, fellas... Two minutes left on the timer. Enemies needs to get involved. If they are not going to get involved, um, they won't get any more use of all of this, right? So I want them to go in. I know they will go in. I know they are thinking about going in. I know I am penetrating him in the side. Woo! Thank you. 
thank you thank you fellas the first game i am feeling proud of where the score goes with a t49 truly um i am feeling happy about this and i think um it was it was nice thank you thank you very much can we get one more for a full happiness i doubt it but we can try right I doubt it, but we can try. No. Do I want to go in? This is the question. Only one minute left. You know what? This is the time for us to shine. We are going in and Fava is probably going to be the next guy I am just simply going for. I think I should be able to flank him and i think i should be able to um maybe beat the living crap out of him right especially whenever he's not paying attention that is very very good he's still not paying attention and he's on the reload oh no he doesn't have any hp left at this point oh well sir be kind to me sir be kind to me no no means no here you go take it i burned him for 69 nice okay Listen, this game looks extremely good. I am very, very proud of this battle. But I can tell you one thing. Um, the games wasn't uh, in row, you know. Uh, it's not like this is the second game I played with a T-49. I was truly trying to figure out how to play with this tank and how to be competitive. And I can tell you uh, one thing. It was a pure struggle. It truly was. So, what we can learn from all of this, check out the third game, you will face palm your face so hard and you will think, oh my bananas, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, performance this is, right? Uh, and you will see absolutely everything, how uh, how it felt to record this session. I have played nine games in total, right? I am winning the games, but my average performance with a derp gun is kind of stinker. And the thing is, um, I simply, I was aiming to do damage with this tank, and I can promise you that I would be so much more successful with other gun. Would I have less fun? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> I would say I would have more fun for myself, but maybe it's only me. Anyways, 4.3 thousand damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage. Beautiful game. I'm super proud of this one. And we lost uh, 16 thousand credits, but you know what? I would pay um, I would pay 16 million to have the games like this all the time, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's go for a third game and pre prepare for a face palm because, oh boys, oh boys, it is not going to be... Uh, uh, fun. Well, at least for me. We have Karelia. By the way, fellas, you are not seeing games in row. This is my sixth or seventh game already with this tank. I'm trying to make it work, but it is very, very, very hard. Um, the thing is, I am just simply not doing enough damage that I would like to show and uh, it would um, it would feel great. My average performance with this tank is maybe 3,000 combined, maybe less than that. But the thing is, the main reason why am I showing the derp gun is to show how fun it can be. But in the same time, I definitely highlighted in the first battle that it is not competitive choice, you know? You are not playing with this uh, with this gun to be competitive. You are playing with this gun to meme around and to have some fun. This is why you are playing with this gun, right? So this is what we are trying to do, but I can promise you that it is hard. I am... I am definitely struggling with this. And in a way, you know, why would you play with a T-49 with a derp gun when there is a baza? You have armor, you have everything what you could ever want. Oh. Okay. Okay, very nice. Well, yeah, this is, this is the situation which I am having, right? Um, if we are... Uh, uh, I I do not know what I supposed to say, fellas. I just do not know what I supposed to say. I'm sitting in the bush. I'm trying to spot. I'm trying to punish someone crossing, and there is a bigger boy coming, pushing me out of the bush, and there is no, nothing what I can do about it. Quite a um, quite a PP move, if you would ask me. But you know, not much what I can change about this. Anyways, re let's relax. Let's take it easy. We have all time. The thing is. Looking how our team is playing this game, I, it doesn't look very promising, okay? 
I do not really think it looks very promising and digging ELC even of the middle bush. I mean, let's get real. It is not simple and it is not easy by any shape or any form. But you know what? It is how it is and not much what we can change about that. Plus sniping with a derp gun from behind and from the back, it's very, very, very complicated as well. So you kind of need to be in the front lines and being in the front lines, you are a very easy target. Right? I had the situations when people loaded high explosive ammunition just to send me to the garage without even asking uh, my name and oh and there is not much what I could have done right but once again um I think this is this is fear and I think I need to talk about experiences like this right that not everything is ideal and not everything is so simple as you might think it is right because I still know I still know to this day uh, there is plenty of the people who are playing with a T-49 with a derp guns, right? And if it is fun for you, eh, I salute you. Hip hip hooray. Um, but if you want to be competitive, I truly think you should avoid playing with a derp gun of the T-49. At least this is how I look into all of this, you know? At least this is how I look into all of this, no? I do not know what do you want me to say. This is this is the games which I am having with a T49 today. I'm not making this up. I just simply can't hit anything. Uh, and, um, you know, I am getting the ticket uh, to the garage relatively easily. And on the discount as well, right? So, yeah. Uh, you know what? I am going to leave this, um, this game in the video just to show that it's it can be a humongous pain to play with this tank, right? Uh, I believe this is a fear enough and um, I think uh, it is going to be entertaining from the different uh, point of view. Skill, what different point of view? Well, this is going to be entertaining to see me suffer, you know? That's what I am saying. Okay. How we could get some more use from all of this? I see there is 30, 90 and ELC even who never been spotted, right? I'm very, very well aware of that. And you know what? Um, ooh. And enemies are capping the base, right? I mean, I would love to say something nice, fellas. I am looking for something nice to say. I truly do. I truly do, but this is my typical battle with this tank. Um, yeah, okay, accept it. How do you like the round number two? I am just highlighting what do I feel when playing with this tank. Uh, I cannot compete with other light tanks and I cannot do damage unless I am very, very lucky. So, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see the score. That was enjoyable, fellas. Uh, well, the third game with a T-49. Uh, this is whenever RNG doesn't treat you well. This is when your teammates is pushing you out of the position. And there is not much what you can change about this, right? Uh, so, yeah, accept this. Better luck next time, fellas. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, roller coaster of emotions. Uh, first game was okay-ish. The second game, um, I haven't played it yet, but I will make sure to have a good game for it. And uh, the third game... Uh, this is the typical T-49 behavior, and this is why you do not play with a derp gun, right? So, yeah. Anyways, um, the average score, at least by, uh, for now, is kind of laughable, if you would ask me. But it is how it is. Anyways, that's what I have for you today. Uh, it was a bit of the suffering session and maybe one day we are going to uh, replay with a T-49 and maybe we will go ham with a derp gun again, but not anytime soon. 